So, my National League predictions for the 18-19 season is now done. You'll be able to see that video, one of the last few videos on my channel. Also, it will be up in the top right in the card, so click on that if you have not seen it already. But anyway, now down to step two of non-league. Again, step two last season, I did so bad with the predictions. It's kind of a good thing because these leagues are so, so hard to predict and it just makes it so entertaining. But anyway, into the National League North. First of all, going to start at the bottom of the table. I think in 22nd place will be Ashton United. Now they're a newly promoted side from the Northern Premier League last season. They've kept pretty much exactly the same squad from last season that had success in the playoffs. This season is going to be very, very hard for them. They've made one real notable signing, which is Bohan Dixon. In 21st, I've gone with Leamington, very much like Ashton United, although they have been in this league for one year now. They have got a very low budget. In 20th, I'm going with FC United of Manchester. They've made a couple of signings, but nothing that really stands off the page. They've lost a couple of players, losing Kieran Glynn to Salford. In 19th, staying in Manchester, we've gone with Curzon Ashton. Again, very small budget always going to be struggling but they always seem to have some good team spirits they seem to always do well in 18th i've gone with afc telford under new management this season made a few good signings they, they could actually easily finish a lot higher than that in 17th i've gone with altrincham newly promoted side struggled the last time they're in the national league north but this time they'll be stronger and i think they will stay up in 16th i've gone with hereford another newly promoted side they could easily finish a lot higher because they got some great momentum with three promotions in three years in 15th, I've gone with Blythe Spartans, a team that I think could finish higher, but because of the strengthens that every other team in this league has made so far this season, it just drops Blythe a bit further down than I'd expect. Same with a lot of teams that are below mid-table. They're really good enough to finish in the top half, but because it's so unpredictable, it's really hard to know which of these teams will actually finish in the top half because everything is so tight this season. In 14th, I've gone with Chorley. Again, another team that finished inside the playoffs last year, but I've gone with them in the bottom half. They have lost their manager, Matt Janssen, but they've brought in a couple of good players as well, so who knows how it's going to go for them. In 13th place, I've gone with Nuneaton, who've made some fantastic signings, to be fair. They start the summer off in a bit of a sticky situation financially, but they seem to have manoeuvred their way out of that a little bit, and they brought in some very, very good players. The likes of Kemi Augustine, his real statement signing for me, played in the Premier League a few years ago. In 12th, I've gone with Spennymore Town, a team that narrowly missed out on the playoffs last season. They've strengthened their attacking lineup in the last few days with the signing of Adam Boys to partner Glenn Taylor. Them two up front could be deadly. So yeah, another another team that really could finish a lot higher than I'm predicting. But because of the strength of everyone else in the league, that's the reason that they're predicted so low. In 11th place, I've gone with Bradford Park Avenue. Again, falls into the exact same category, but with them losing Adam Boys, could they really struggle for goals? He scored over 20 goals from last season, so that could be a big loss and they could finish a little bit lower. In 10th, it's the big shock to a lot of people have actually gone with Brackley, who finished in the playoff final last year, finished in third place, but they've lost a couple of players. Alex Goodger has gone to Solihull Moors, the centre-back, really influential as part of their team. Also, Aaron Williams, who scored over 20 goals from last season, he has gone to Harrogate Town. In 9th, I've gone with Alfreton Town under new management with Billy Heath taking over. He's brought a lot of the players that he's had previously at either North Ferriby or Halifax or a lot of them at both clubs. Players that he knows, you know exactly how he's going to play. Got Tom Denton up front, he's always going to be a danger. In 8th, I've gone with Geisley who've quietly assembled a very, very good squad in my opinion. They've got Marcus Bignett as one of their joint managers and Marcus Bignett won promotion from this league a few years ago when he was at Solihull Moors. He's brought in some very good players so I think that they've actually got a very competent squad that could do very well. In 7th place, I've gone with Boston United. I rate their manager really good at Shaw Lane. Yes, he had a big budget but I think he's transitioned well over to Boston and he really turned their season around last season and he's brought in some really good players as well the likes of Nathan Arnold Johnny Margetts Adam Marriott what a front three that is fantastic players at this level in my opinion in sixth place I've gone with Southport again another team that has strengthened really well this summer and changed their management they've gone back to Liam Watson a man who's had success with them in the past as manager and some of the signs they've made Mike Phoenix a very dangerous striker very good striker at this level in my opinion so he could get goals for them in fifth place I've gone with Stockport so a similar sort of finish to where they finished last year I think they're a very good side, obviously a massive fan base, massive crowd. They made a few good signings, but they have lost Jason Oswald and Jimmy Ball, two of their most influential players. So we'll soon see how they will cope with those losses. In fourth place, I have gone with Darlington. Very, very impressed with their summer business, bringing in the likes of Simon Ainge, Jordan Nicholson. Two really good players for this level who've proved that over the last few years. Particularly Ainge, who scored a stupid amount of goals in 2017. In third place, I've gone with Chester. 
Really good signings again. They brought in a really good management duo in Jono and Bernard from Salford. They brought in pretty much every player that they had at Salford last year that they could bring to Chester. The likes of Danny Livesey, Anthony Dudley and Scott Burton as well. That's signing George Green from the Neaton who was outstanding last year. They made some very good signings. Now into the top two and in second place is York City. Very good signings. Again, they brought a lot of players in from Gateshead, the likes of Jordan Preston, also Russ Penn. They've got John Parkin, who obviously is always going to score a lot of goals for them. So I think that they could do very well in their last season at Bootham Crescent. Could it be a successful one for them? I think they will finish in second place, which means in first place. Yes, I am biased, but does that matter? No, it's a prediction. Who cares if I'm biased or not? Kidderminster Harriers, the team that I support and now work for. I've not predicted them to finish anywhere near this high in the last two years that I've done predictions. I think I predicted them to finish 6th and ninth. I think it was, in the last two years. But this year, I'm going to go for it and say that we're going to win the league because looking at the squad so far, it's looking very, very strong. We've lost a couple of players, but we've replaced them with real quality, in my opinion. And, yeah, I'm hoping with the new manager in charge, he's also really, really good, we can finish right up at the top of the table. Fingers crossed anyway. But anyway, let me know in the comment section down below who do you think is going to win the National League North this season? Also, who do you think is going to go up through the playoffs and who's going to get relegated? And do you support a National League North team? Let me know in the comment section down below how you think they will do. But anyway, remember to hit that like button and subscribe as well. Hope to see you in the next video. And thanks for watching.